All right, we're gonna investigate this giant hole in the ground. Uh, we just got our hole of ice stand from Benda, the NPC. So we're about to go handle that. You might have noticed I don't have hard mode on this account on Nightfall. It's because I just got a Nightfall recently and I haven't beaten it yet on this account. It looks like there's Mox. He's a pretty cool guy. We're gonna ignore him though, because we have to check out this hole. So there's a massive hole in the ground, and we need to figure it out. I'm running 100 blades on an assassin, very standard build. I also have costs using a very standard warrior build. <laughs> he has 20 energy too. I didn't even give him like a staff or anything. Um, I guess I can give him my chest running staff. It's just like armor plus five. All right, there you go, buddy. <laughs> they just have like their junk. Then I have two healers. This is gonna be really bad. We have no damage. I am the damage, and then he has like he has a weird factions only bar I used for my Winds of Change playthrough. I'm just I just have that, these guys here to level them up. So we're gonna come up with some weird ass builds, and then test them. Uh, one of the ones I had as an idea was a command mesmer, which is a mesmer that just has. Um, Left, like a few interrupts, one of them being psychic instability, and then just has a shield and spams command abilities. So it'd be like a 2020 fast casting wand. Um, not that it needs it, but I don't know what the hell's like shaking the thing there. Maybe it's the situation we find ourselves in today. I just like immediately got knocked down. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh, these are holy shit! These dudes are level seven. It's like a baby. It's a baby one. Death to the, that's right, death to the Sun Spears. Fuck the Sun Spears. Tired of them. It's a little baby, uh... I didn't realize this one was easier. I thought they were gonna be level 20 and shit. That's interesting. Alright, I guess we're just gonna kill them really fast then. So this is like a baby version of the hole and whatever. Eye of the North situation. We're gonna have to avoid getting destroyed by the destroyers. <laughs> Sun spheres come. <laughs> They're very angry at us. We haven't even done anything yet. We are about to fight them to the death, but I don't know why you save yourself. They don't even deal damage. Here, let's kill these guys. Nice. This is very difficult content. <laughs> Obviously, it's not supposed to be. <laughs> The music. So I'm back on a clicky keyboard because my other keyboard got shocked to death, which is very unfortunate. So I'll try to keep the clicks down. <laughs> I know people hate the clicks. <laughs> and I apologize in advance. Where are you guys going? Stop it. Get back here. <laughs> Where are they? Go oh, cool, I got a lockpick. Holy shit, I got a lockpick from these dumbasses? Dude, can you farm this? These would be so easy to kill on, like, anything. They're, like, level 8. <laughs> can you farm these for shit? <laughs> That's what I think constantly when playing this game. Can this be farmed? I'm just, like, looking for dumb farms, even though it takes forever to get a good drop in most situations. It's still a constant recurring theme. So you might have noticed... Check that out. Look, you like that run animation with the scythe? Here, check this out. How about that? <laughs> there you go. You might have noticed I have a scythe. Uh, there's another build. There's a, there's some fun scythe builds that Assassin can run that I'm going to be running. I seem to prefer builds that are like unique, that are fun. If it's interesting, I'm, I'm on board. All right, the destroyers are near. I'm curious to see if they're gonna be level like 28. Oh shit, they are. <laughs> they're level 28 and shit. <laughs> so you have these like dumbass corsairs that are like level 10, level 8, and then you have level 28 destroyer of bones running you down. You got the Eye of the North theme playing. Pretty good. Yeah, they didn't even scale them down, and they didn't give you the Eye of the North is calling you thing where uh, you get level 20 if you're not level 20 or did they no they haven't so you would you could potentially be a new player now it might be easier like I don't think they've caught us yet but if they catch you you just die immediately unless you use you know increased movement speed 
I like these dudes' faces over here. <laughs> I make shit like that in my game, too. In my game, Imp Knight. I'm working on an indie game called Imp Knight. I have, like, faces sculpted into stuff. It's fun to make, to be honest. Like, to sculpt faces into shit for no reason. If you notice that, most things just have faces arbitrarily. Because it's cool. And you should not question it. Some concept art over here on... Like, what is this? Banners or something? Got some normals on here. They respond to light. It seems like this, like Eye of the North, they introduced more normals into the 3D art. You can see it here too. Normals are nice, but if you have huge, like, maps with tons of normals, it lags your shit. Alright, this one wasn't bad. Alright, we got Vec. We got Ogden Stone Healer. Running up, running up, running in, and running out. We got all these little noobs. <laughs> then we have Koss. <laughs> Dom Koss. Meta, meta build Koss, we'll call him. Hole in the thing. Hole in the wall. Alright, let's skip this shit. Got it. I understand. Alright, let's get it. Let's bust out the new heroes. Um, let's run an ST. That's a good idea. This is a factions only ST. Very exclusive. <laughs> Alright, this needs its build change. This just needs to be a BIP. I have all these factions only builds. So I need to like change them. And like update the save file. Listen to that scrolling. There you go, buddy. Perfect. Alright. Uh, let's check out what these guys are running. What are you running? Uh, you can run that, whatever. Well, maybe drop this. Maybe get this. Uh, just give him something. I'm not really planning the team comp yet, I'm just kind of giving them whatever. Another monk here. Run Air of Disenchantment for no reason. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> or Air of Disenchantment, I'm sorry. It's called Air of Enchantment. Kind of an obscure elite skill that no one runs. Maybe I should just make team comps around obscure elite skills. Obviously 100 blades isn't obscure. Alright, against the destroyers. Let's let's figure it out. You know? What are we doing in this in this game? Let's see how this build stacks up. We're still in normal mode. Really, I'm just getting PvE skills just to experiment more. Alright, they're like... They're too cool for us. Leave her to her challenge. Alright. Got a nice new polar bear there. The lock chest. I should have, I do have lock picks. Can't even drop that junk weapon. Oh, wait. Why do I have that? I have a high energy set Pro protective icon? That's random. Free spear. Junk. Let's have to, have to sell it. Dang, there's a lot of locked chests in here. We'll just open them for fun. I don't really expect to get anything cool. I do like this area though. I remember like running through here the first time and it was like really cool. It's still pretty cool. Oh my god, a copper crusher? Dude, I'm rich. Dude. 14% strength and honor? That's worth like 25G to the merchant. <laughs> People chest run this area, which blows my mind. Because like, what? Like, that's like a money burn. Like, you're not getting anything doing that. You're not getting a single good drop here. I don't I don't know what you could get. Let's fight this guy because he's cool. Alright, fight me. Nope. No skills for you. No bear form for you, big boy. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. I want them titles. Got my reputation increased. Trying to get these titles, you know what I'm saying? 
Oh, he pinned me down. Alright, now I'm gonna do like 20 DPS. <laughs> yes, ball up. Ball up, you fools. I probably do want the extra crits, huh? I'm like, missing. I'm like not getting crits. At all. Alright, no, I'm losing. Oh, quicksand. What the fuck is this dude? Oh, I lose one energy whenever I attack? No wonder. <laughs> Weird obscure skills no, no one ever runs as players, but AI has. <laughs> Quicksand. <laughs> what does this do? I forget like some of these skills. They attack. Dang, I'm like burning through my energy to attack because of the quicksand. Look at, my, look at that DPS I'm dealing. See, this is this is the this is the content you're here for. Here for big DPS. Oh, ironically, there though, I did. I was dealing okay damage. It kind of does okay damage in some instances. Dagger spam's definitely better though, because you get the AOE for free, and you can run whatever elite skill you feel like. I'm not getting enough crits, so I think I would have to drop probably distracting blow or. Something. I'm just testing this build out for fun. I can say though, I'm not a fan of quicksand at all. <laughs> Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Uh, Give it to me. To fight Mountain Aloe. <laughs> Stop making quicksand. Enough. Enough of this. Enough of this foolishness. It's hurting itself, though. Like, it's affecting its own ability to use skills, too. It's so strange. It's such a weird skill. And you can just kill it, too, right? So it's like... <laughs> the music... <laughs> So intense. It's great. Alright. It's a pretty good song. It's a pretty pretty good song if I must say so. Fighting the pine soul. Alright, we killed it. Took it took forever, but we did it. We achieved We achieved the impossible. Like, what are you running? Oh, he's running Smite. Oh, yeah, this is like a build I was running for um, Winds of Change factions only, where it's like you you have Zealot's Fire so that he, like, spams out damage, and he also has, like, Spike Heal with Divine Boom. Boon? I called it Divine Boom. Let's give him some prot. Here, have some of that. There you go, buddy. <laughs> he's, that's a damage healer prot. It's such a weird build. It's, like, decent, though. I think that's the theme... Look at that, 8 damage. I already have it. Alright, cool. What am I missing? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, no! I have to speak with Jora. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I thought you just have to listen to her talk, and then she's like, alright, whatever. I have to go talk to her. I should have, like, I should have made Vex slash Paragon for fallback. And then maybe someone else. I have all these monks for no reason. I'm just leveling these guys up, just in case I ever want to use them. I might, I might experiment with some smiting builds. Um, that's a weird build too. A lot of weird builds. Yeah, this one, or not this one, Dunkoro. Yeah, Dunkoro's build, uh, Zealot's Fire is an interesting skill because the things that are getting healed, assuming they're near things, or like if you have a thing tank, it's just like extra damage. Now it costs one energy every time, and it's not like the biggest packet of damage ever. But it's kind of interesting, especially when combined with, like, fourth casts. Because, like, if he casts three spells on me, that's potentially, like, 75 damage against 60 armor. Alright, I 
its position better. <laughs> let's like use the build correctly. Let's let's use a hundred blades correctly. <laughs> Just like attacking <laughs> away from the other thing. Yeah, and I do like I do like smite hex because it's area damage, right? And enemies tend to spam hexes in hard mode unless they're like warriors and shit, obviously. But sixty holy damage. For removing a hex is kind of interesting. I think Smite has some potential, but you need to run like Divine Boon. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's the other skill too that like doubles the divine healing for free. So I guess there is some potential for Smite. I want to see what happens if you run like three Smite healers with like an ST or something in like some hard mode content. All right, Jora. Against the destroyers. All right, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Jora. <laughs> thank you. I might have been able just to go there and then come back. I don't know. We ran back anyways, though. We've been in here for eight minutes, so I think I'm gonna switch to scythe build next. So I just have to switch. Um... Actually, I don't have to switch anything. I just switch to a scythe. <laughs> it's just ready, ready for the scythe. run up here. Get my heroes stuck on these trees, essentially. Oh no, snow worm. I don't know what's up with these. I think their AI is bugged. Like, watch. It does nothing. You just run by it. It's just, like, there, for some reason. There's just, like, snow worms. For no particular reason. They just pop up and they're like, hey, I'm, a, I'm, I'm here, I'm a snow worm. And you're just like, alright. And they just don't attack you. And now there are like huge snow worms in the future that fuck you up. Those things are real. But those other ones, those are just little babies. So we don't care about those. I'm gonna switch to uh, Scythe pretty soon. I'll do like a little demo video too, because it's kind of fun. A demo video. We got some eagles in here. We got some eagles in the building. Let's see what Alliance chat's up to. Hero Trapper support. Uh, interesting. <laughs> what is this? Crippled and bleeding. How would this work, though? They just spam traps? And then use, like, blind and shit? Hmm. <laughs> Don't use this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use this. Any suggestions? So it has crypt so the thing is that you have to get these spell these off, right? Like this would be so slow to use. Unless you're like farming something. Is shoot a skill? <laughs> is shoot a skill. Don't use this. That's pretty good advice. Yeah, because these are slow. Your traps activate. Alright, got it. Yeah, it's not like the best thing. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. I'm going to save this as 100B Sin. Uh, there's definitely better versions of this. But we're, let's see, did I save the other thing? Here we go. Alright, here's the build that I recently got into, and it's pretty fun to use. I'll demo it in the next video. But yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and peace.